Scientists in Singapore have identified microorganisms that improve soil health and help urban farmers grow crops in smaller plots of land. Now, the study used a grow zone about the size of a three-room HDB flat. The NUS Environmental Research Institute partnered L'Oreal Singapore Research and Innovation. And we have guests from both NUS and L'Oreal here, Associate Professor Sanjay Swarup and Dr. Tarun Chopra, Welcome, gentlemen, to the studio. Uh, Professor Swarup, as we already know, bacteria is the most abundant microorganisms in soil. So if the discovery of microorganisms is not new, what is new in your study? Yeah, so um, microorganisms are running the earth. Uh, what new we have is that we have found how they communicate with plants, mm. um, what sort of chemical signals go between them, and how these can be used to improve the growth of the plants, uh, how fast they can grow, and what kind of chemicals they can produce. So we can now start using them for more and more purposes for the mm. plants that are growing together with these microbes. So some of that is what's the new angle that we have. So can we say that the groundbreaking aspect of your study is the discovery of a wider range of microorganisms uh, that are associated with plants to replace synthetic agriculture input. Yes, uh, that's right. So uh, especially those microbes that are living very close mm. or even within the plants, they can be used, their benefits can be used to harness for the improvement of these uh, you know, purposes I was talking about. Okay. So that's the new aspect. Your research uh, used a 50 square meter grow zone. Mm -hmm. That's about the size of a three room HDB flat. <laughs> Is that sufficient to uh, make the conclusions that you have found in your study? Yeah, so we take baby steps. We come from a lab to this grow zone. This grow zone is part of a, a NUS, National University of Singapore's uh, test bedding facility, where mm. we bring it to the next level of test bedding. Okay. And there we co-partner with the industry and then develop solutions, so which can then go to the next scale of the scale-up ladder yeah. uh, into larger areas. And that will be the trial? And those will be the real trials that okay. will follow after the grow zone. So sure. this is uh, a test bedding center. Mm. Dr. Chopra, uh, perhaps we can bring you into the conversation. Mm -hmm. It is an interesting collaboration. Yes. L'Oreal Cosmetic and Skincare Company, what uh, does it have in common with the research of soil microorganisms mm -hmm. and its uses? Yeah. Well, it's all about nature. Like mm. for us, nature is a huge source of inspiration. And at the same time, it also gives us many ingredients or raw materials that we use in cosmetics. Uh, but the thing is that these natural resources are not infinite and which is where we must act responsibly. And uh, within L'Oreal, we have a sustainability initiative called as L'Oreal for the Future, where we have made significant commitments mm. that we're gonna reduce the environmental footprint of all our products uh, by 2030. Okay. This includes reduction in uh, water usage. This in includes reduction in emission of greenhouse gases, reduction in land area for uh, ingredients that are coming from plants. And we have made a huge commitment that 95% uh, of all the ingredients that we use uh, will uh, be biosourced by the year 2030. So what was the extent of L'Oreal's involvement in this study? So we, uh, we are basically working with uh, Professor Sanjay's team as well as teams from uh, uh, the university, uh, both in NUS as well as NTU, mm. to work together and develop technologies which would improve soil health and at the same time increase the uh, amount of actives within a plant or the ingredients within a plant without using more land or without the use of fertilizers which is why we are very interested in the project. Okay, so the aim of this research is essentially to enhance the yield and quality of cosmetics ingredients without compromising on sustainability. Absolutely. Uh, Professor Swaro, but why should urban farmers care about this? Is there a roadmap to harness the power of you know, microorganisms for something even bigger? Yeah, so, uh, so for uh, resilience, uh, the, the food that we are producing through these farms, it needs economic viability as well, right? And so on one side, the farms could be using these to reduce the inputs. Uh, basically, we are growing without fertilizers and pesticides and fungicides, mm. the chemicals. Yep. On the other hand, it, they can be using part of their farm to produce these high-value crop uh, products, which will 
add to the revenue stream of the farms, therefore bringing economic viability. So some of these uh, working through centers, one of the centers, local centers is Celsi, mm -hmm. uh, which works on microbes and biofilms, how microbes attach to surfaces. Yeah. We are testing in farms how these can be used to improve the same principles. And it's looking very, very encouraging. So can soil microbes help our urban farmers grow, you know, Asian vegetables like bat choy or choy sam, for sam. example? Yeah. yeah, so these are the favorites in Singapore, right? <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, the farmers, uh, both in soil, hydroponic systems, uh, different formats. Mm. At the farms, we have been testing, and that's where we are getting encouraged by what the farms are seeing in terms of their produce becoming more. So that's spurring us on. And now with those same farmers, one day we'll be hoping to do some of these high value cash crops, we call them, their trials. Dr. Chopra, where does this study lead you, you know, in the formulation of your cosmetic and skincare products? Do you see this as, you know, shaping the future of beauty and even green size? Of matter? course, yes. Like I said earlier, we have this huge commitment that 95% of all our raw materials will be bio-based. Mm. And uh, there are many strategies in terms of doing that. There is synthetic biology approaches. There are uh, sustainable agricultural practices. So all these contribute towards that. And the um, vision that we have, we firmly believe that nature is the future of beauty. And initiatives and projects like this will help us uh, carry out disruptive uh, research and bring out disruptive innovation while being responsible at the same time. That's very fascinating. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for Pleasure. coming into the studio to talk to us about this. Uh, that was Associate Professor Sanjay Swaro from NUS Environmental Research Institute and Dr. Tarun Chopra from L'Oreal Singapore Research and Innovation. Thank you. Oh, pleasure.